big problems for A.H. is it looks like she's having to dig deep into her pockets to pay for her own appeal process in Virginia with the insurers that had been paying everything for her. I mean, we are talking about the money people for A.H. to the tune of over eight point. $3 million paid in, seemingly no longer paying for the appeals bill. And I mean, this, this would be big time because you're talking about up to $5 million more in potential cost. This is one of the potential bombshells that have come up as AH has responded to JD's appeal. Remember, he won three claims. She's appealed. She won one claim. He's appealed. This is her brand new response there. Oh, man. I mean, her on the hooks for millions as her own team. It disintegrates around her. JD, he may actually win this appeals process, too. Oh, man. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So the fireworks, so they just keep coming as far as JD and AH are concerned with AH again giving us this brand new filing. Now what's fascinating about this isn't just what's in the filing, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But the thing that has really gotten a lot of people talking isn't necessarily what's captured in the filing, but what's captured at the end. Right here, pointing this out to you. Look at it. What do you see? So check out this post by Laura B. on Twitter. And this, by the way, is verified in A.H.'s filings as she goes back and forth with her insurers. You know, as they sue each other, they sue her. And also, everything falls apart. But listen to this here. Update, J.D. versus A.H. appeal. I have A.H.'s response to J.D.'s appeal, most notably is that it is submitted only by Ben Rottenborn. Notice that signature right there. Again, only Ben Rottenborn attached. That suggests to me her insurance companies are not funding this part of her legal costs as she is the plaintiff. There's discussion about this too. This comes up with Andrea Burkhart. She is actually part of this as well. You have the question come up. Hey, could it be that Rottenborn did this because the other lawyers were too busy writing her appeal brief? Her insurance says they pay for a defense against defamation. She's the plaintiff here. She's not the defendant. Maybe I'm inferring too much. And you have Andrea Burkhart come in. She's going to note something else on this, but she says, no, I think you probably nailed it. Someone asks, though, but then wouldn't it mean she also paid for her counterclaim since she's the plaintiff to there? And Andrea Burkhardt, and again, you see this spelled out in AH's war with her own insurance company. Quote, they may have allocated some of the costs for a counterclaim to her. Yes, she's now claiming, quote unquote, Hundreds of thousands of dollars in defense costs not paid by any insurer in her answer to New York Marine case. So again, she's now saying, and she's never said this in the past, that she's having to pay money out of her pocket. And this, it's just getting started to. I mean, again, that cost is going to balloon into the millions. See, reality is that AA, she cannot afford to have this appeals fight, but then again, she can't afford not to appeal the decision in Virginia. See, right now, if you look at her celebrity net worth, I mean, as it stands, we would be talking about someone after having to make restitution that is worth negative six million dollars. On top of that, JD has a very real chance of sweeping the decision board as it were, taking 
everything, getting this stuff reversed. This would be A.H.'s fault, too. And, I mean, think about that. If she thinks things are bad now, no job opportunity, she's become a social pariah, what happens when that concession victory, that one out of her three counterclaims, is actually stripped away? Now, you know what's really fascinating, and I base this on what I'm reading here from A.H.'s lawyer. It looks like he thinks that A.H. really could lose it all. And J.D., he could walk away with everything. That's why when you look at the statement of this case, it doesn't really want to talk about the Adam Waldman statements at first. It wants to talk about J.D., It wants to point the finger firmly back at him again because they're not really making the point to the court of public appeals as much as the court of public opinion. They want to win back you and I because that's the real loss. You can lose in the courtroom and still walk away a winner, but A.H., she lost it all. That's why this starts out not with a statement about Adam Waldman, but again with a statement about J.D. saying during the course of their relationship, appellant J.D., he accosted his wife, A.H., and well, they name every different way. He promised her that if he ever left her, he would make her think of every single day by ruining her career and life after she obtained her TRO against him and commenced divorce proceedings. He did everything in his power to keep that promise. When they finally get around to arguing the portion about Adam Waldman, I mean, a few funny things come up, but this goes about how you would expect. See, J.D., he argued that Waldman is an independent contractor. He can say what he wants to say. I mean, he is speaking for himself, but he's also representing J.D. You can have both things at once. You would think A.H.'s lawyers might want that too, considering in this very article you have statements about them. Plus, think about all of the things that Elaine pulled in, after, and before the trial as well. And on top of that, you have a pretty funny statement here. I mean, remember, A.H. keeps talking about freedom of speech, right? I can't be liable for what I say because everything I do that's protected, I get freedom. Yeah, Adam Waldman, apparently he doesn't. So freedom of speech, it matters only when. Fascinating, right? And again, she's on the hook paying for this stuff. Best case scenario for her, everything stands the way it is. And she spends millions of dollars making that. Worst case scenario, I think she loses it all. But let me know what you think about this. And as always, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Check out the links in the description. They help out the channel. Let me know what you think, too. Going to end here. Thanking you again. Appreciate it. Can't say that enough. See you soon.